Would you? Listen, here in just a few minutes, not too long, we're going to pass out turkeys for everybody. I know that's what a lot of folks came for today. But before we do that, we want to get into God's Word just a little bit. In case you didn't realize, we may not look like it. Si tú no lo sabías, nosotros no puede verlo. Our name probably doesn't sound like it. El nombre de nosotros no se no se lo escucha. But Big House is a church. Pero Big uh, Casa Grande es una iglesia. Place for everyone to come and love God together. Donde todo el mundo puede venir aquí. Place for people from all races, nationalities, countries. Todo el mundo de todos los sitios puede venir aquí. Because we're all children of God. Amen. Todo el mundo es solo hijos de Dios. Now we're coming up on probably one of my favorite holidays. And I really think probably most men's favorite holiday. But I'm not sure it's one of the ladies' favorite holidays. Because in many households, on Thanksgiving, men sit around. Everybody knows where I'm going, don't you? We sit around. We wait for lunch or dinner to get ready. Whenever it is your family serves it. We pig out nosotros come mucho, like we're never going to eat for the next two weeks. Como nosotros no vamos a comer por, por dos semanas. We go back to the couch. Nosotros va a regresar otra vez. Act like we're watching a football game. Haciendo como nosotros está viendo el fútbol. And pass out. Y perder el domingo. While all the wonderful ladies of the house. Todos los señoritas en la casa. Get stuck with the dishes. Empieza a limpiar. Which really is enough dishes for the last two weeks. Lo que es dishes but dos semanas. So ladies, I'm not sure this is your favorite holiday. Señoritas, no creo que este es el día que tú buscas más. But I know for all of us. Pero yo sé para nosotros todos. One of the things we really love. Una de las cosas que nosotros tenemos. Is the fact that we all get together as family. Amen. Amen. That's one of the reasons I love this big gathering today. We're going to send you home with turkeys. But a big part of the fun today is everybody just getting together. Taking some time to give thanks to God. Taking some time to recognize that if it wasn't for our creator none of us would be here anyways now the turkey we're going to give you wouldn't it be cool if, if I could give you a turkey that you'd never have to eat again I don't mean that you would never eat the same turkey again I mean like after Thanksgiving when you eat this magical turkey that you picked up at Big House that you no longer have an appetite to eat that you would no longer be hungry now, I'll tell you this, I have eaten some people's turkey and lost my appetite. But that's a different story, okay? Now watch this. John chapter 6 in the Bible. And Jesus is speaking. If you have one of those fancy Bibles where Jesus' words are in red, this is in red. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. The person who aligns with me la persona que va conmigo, in other words the person that lines up with me tú viene conmigo, hungers no more no va a tener más. 
In other words, they will never be hungry again, he was saying. Now, truth of the matter is, when Jesus said that, he wasn't talking about our natural appetite. He was talking about our spiritual appetite. We live in a world that's spiritually hungry. Anybody in here on Facebook? Facebook. You have a Facebook, raise your hand. And about half of the other people probably have one too. Me too. <laughs> So funny on Facebook. You, fi Para gente que está en Facebook. you find people putting spiritual quotes. Looking for directions in horoscopes. You, you listen to TV, you hear advertisements for fortune tellers or psychics. You drive down the street, you drive down Apache Boulevard, and you see this psychic place and that psychic place. Why do we see all these places and all these things? People are spiritually hungry. But Jesus said, if you line up with me, that you'll never be hungry again. If I was going to title today's message, I would call this the Hunger No More Games. Because when you get on the field with Jesus, you'll hunger no more. He'll take care of your physical needs. He said he would. He even takes care of the sparrows. Now watch this. Over in Romans, the apostle Paul was telling the church in Rome that if they aligned their life with Jesus, that this is what would happen. He said, embracing God and what God has done for you is the best thing you can do for him. He said, don't become so well adjusted to this whole world but align yourself with my thoughts. He said, instead, fix your attention on God and you'll be changed from the inside out. God has a change for all of us. He wants to change your appetite. He don't want you running around spiritually hungry all your life. He wants you to hunger no more. One more illustration. One of my favorite guys in the Bible. The story is about Matthew, the disciple. But the story is found in the book of Luke, the disciple. Here we go. And this is it. After he went out, and this was out of church, Jesus, he saw a man named Levi. At his work collecting taxes. And Jesus said to him, Come along with me. In other words, he said, Hey, come hang with me. He said, Come along with me. And Matthew did. He walked away from everything and went with Jesus. And Jesus said, this is what happens. When you follow him, when those who are outsiders accept his invitation to be insiders, that that invitation is to have a changed life changed from the inside out. See, the change doesn't start on the outside. The change starts on the inside. And let me give you three quick steps. 
from Romans chapter 2 de Romans, eh, dos, the apostle Paul said fix your thoughts Paul dijo, tu, tu look at me right now Mírame, por favor. some of you were worried how you're going to eat a turkey you knew you could get the family to come over tú sabes que tú coger la a venir. but you didn't know how you were going to supply dinner Pero tú no sabías cómo tú vas a cocinar. God is saying to you right now Dios está a ti ahora mismo. I got dinner covered yo tengo la comida. we'll take care of you Nosotros puedo, yo puedo hacerlo. we're going to send you home with a turkey Nosotros vamos a con el Pablo hoy. and some groceries y comida para comer. so that you'll have food on your table para que tú puedes coger comida en tu mesa. so don't worry about the food no, no te preocupes de comida. fix your thoughts in other words this Thanksgiving este es el día de gracia, although the food is important tú sabes, comida está importante, let your attention tu attention be fixed on Jesus a Jesús. Amen. Amen so number one is fix your thoughts number two Número uno es tu recognize Número dos es reconocion. same Romans Lo mismo Romans. chapter 2 chapter 12 Número 12 verse 2 the Apostle Paul said, "Readily recognize what He wants you to do." Once you fix your thoughts on Jesus, once you make the decision to make Jesus the focus of your life, start recognizing the little ways He's trying to direct your life when you hear that small still voice in your heart challenge you to stop a habit that you've been doing when you feel that small still voice in your heart lead you to be nice to someone and help them through a hard time recognize that as God's Holy Spirit calling you to obey his most important commandment Jesus said the most important thing we can do is to love God and love others. And if we take care of that, you're not going to steal from your neighbor because you love them. You're not going to lie about your neighbor because you love them. You're not going to look at your neighbor's wife because you love your neighbor. Does everybody get what I'm saying? So number one, this Thanksgiving, fix your thoughts on God. Number two, this Thanksgiving, recognize the small ways God is directing your life and number three still from Romans recognize what he wants and quickly respond to it folks let me tell you this a lot of people believe in Jesus a lot of people have felt God start touching their heart but they've never really Pero nunca ellos responded to it hace lo que dice. today before we give out turkeys Hoy, antes que nosotros los pablos, I want to give everybody a chance yo que todo mundo en chance to respond to God para coger a Dios. he's here in this place Está aquí hoy. For the kids, para los niños, for the moms, para los mamás, for the dads, para los papás, for the single folks, para los gente single, he's here for all of us. Está aquí para todo mundo. Many of you have heard of him, todo mundo lo escuchó. but you've never responded to him. Pero nunca te dice, okay. This is what I want you to do for just one second aquí with lo me. Que yo quiero que tú haces por un segundo. I'm going to ask everybody all across this room Voy a a todo el mundo que está aquí at this most holy moment to close your eyes for just a moment as we all pray. Tu ojos pa, pa, pa que orar. And as you close your eyes, tu tu ojos, as you take a moment, tú coge un momentito, 
Let's think of God for a second. Let's think about what he did with his, by sending his son. Para diciendo, Jesus Christ a Jesucristo, to die on that cross que, que se murió en la cruz. and this is your day y este es tu día to respond para respond to God para que it's, que not it's not ending it's only the beginning when God Just before dawn This might be the hardest Season you've experienced I know it hurts It won't be too long You're closer than you think you are You're closer than you've 